fire signs and welcome to my channel i'm here doing your weekend love read for aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising and venus get you tipped down here so we can get started right away um i will be doing two different spreads um i will time stamp them if i have the time if not if somebody please would i would much appreciate it um but the singles will be first uh couples second so spirit angels, what messages do you have for our fire signs? Singles. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Singles. What messages do you have for them for the weekend in love? These cards are so awkward to um, shuffle. Okay. So your guys' situation for you fire sign singles. The three of pentacles. Nice energy to begin with. Your energy is the Eight of Pentacles. The person coming in for you is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Your foundation is death. And your outcome is justice. What an amazing spread for you singles. Bottom of your deck is judgment in reverse. With the hermit in reverse. And the hanged man. So you're you have a vision, but you're not you're not moving forward with it. You need to uh, you need to open up and quit the delay. You are a visionary. Bring your um, your ideas into fruition. For uh, a lot of you. Yeah, it's like some of you have an idea, like a creative idea that could bring you a lot of money, but it's like spiritual, but you're you're holding off. You have this delay. And it the the hangman's all about surrendering to the unknown, sacrifice the the idea of power to allow pause to give you new perspective. So you're reaching this in enlightenment that you already have within. So it's saying don't hold back. You're don't hold back from your vision, from what you see in this uh in the future. A lot of you are very um intuitive. I gotta turn my sage, it's smoking me out over here. A lot of you are very intuitive, but you could be being too cautious right now with this reverse. Not acting with clear thought for some of you. Like I said, being too cautious. Think about your personal patterns right now of judging and blame of others. And really harness your energy into um, you know, something that sustains you. Something that's going to be here for the long run. Um, because you also have the hermit in reverse or the alien in this deck. I just had to look up that card because... I don't know if I ever came across this. I don't use this deck very often. But um, it, this is all about a vision as well. With uh, the alien. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I sneezed so hard. I about <laughs> knocked it over. Okay. So, back to your spread. So, this is all about uh, building a connection with the divine. Um, having the divine partner up with you to build... A structure on um, to begin that to build that foundation this is you coming to the top though with a spiritual practice for some of you if you have an idea within um, you know starting a spiritual business why is the three of Pentacles here is their situation uh, but fire sign singles I see you're really focusing on finances and making money versus um, love at the moment you got the death card the justice card and all Pentacle cards so why is the Three of Pentacles here is their situation for our Fire Sign Singles? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're not really opening up about this. You're not really talking about this. Um, you're not really communicating anything about this. Um, when your ideas are meant to be, you know, um, known by, you know, people. You could be thinking about moving away from this idea, abandoning ship on this um, idea you have. Yeah. All right, your energy, the Eight of Pentacles. Let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here for you. Fire. 
the Five of Pentacles. Okay. I'm going to look that one up as well, too because for some reason, and I know I shouldn't doubt myself the message I get, but for some reason it seems like it should not match that card. So I'm going to see. Okay, so this is saying that you are all about encouraging others to do their best, a deep satisfaction in your work, and you are practicing your skills. That's coming to you after feeling this lack, feeling this neglect, feeling like you are, like you didn't have enough. Somebody left you in the dark, empty handed. Um, for some of you, I'm seeing like you lost all your belongings, like your house, your belongings, your, your identity with the loss of a relationship in the past, and you never want to be at that place again so you're working very hard to build your life back and you also encourage others and and put so much hope in other people's lives because you know what it feels like to experience this and you never want anybody to feel that way um man i'm getting emotional that's a very strong energy um and the message i was getting before i looked it up in the book was uh was the feeling of of surrendering due to the loss of everything. Yeah, spirit is helping you build this life back. You you are such a good person and what happened to you was not fair. It was not just um but it built you into the person you are today. It built you into this loving, caring, giving um, person who just really builds other people up um, because you know what it feels like to be torn down. The person coming in for you, they are kind of um, trapped and overburdened by the things that they own. This person is very materialistic to where you lost everything. You are building yourself back up, but you could live, you could live your life with hardly anything, any possessions at all. As long as you had like the love of a good person, you're not materialistic. Um, but this person's focus is on like the things that they own. Um, it's like trapped in consumption. They're like burdened to too much stuff. They have no higher vision or their higher vision is being blocked. They need to let go of what's not needed because they are weighed down by the physical belongings that they have it's like cluttering their life so this is like polar opposites let's see why the ten, why they have the ten of pentacles in reverse they need to they don't have a higher connection to source because their 5d connection is blocked because their 3d uh world is so important their possessions three of wands so they had to, they had to kind of, your guys' stories are similar, but not because they're opposite. They had to fight to where they are today too. They, they had nothing at one point in time. They fought very hard to get to this position. And that's why they are so reluctant to let go of anything. It's like, well, what if I exit, what if I lose that one day and I'm going to need that, you know? So it's almost like, I don't want to say a hoarder because it's not like, junked it's just like they have way too much stuff they keep everything a pack rat my father is the definition of a pack rat it's all neat and ordered and and, and labeled and in totes in the grot but he's got everything and that's what it reminds me of like they have so much stuff but it's because they know what it feels like to have nothing and they fear that loss so that's who's coming in for you. Your foundation, you um, you are going through this death process. You truly had to purge out your whole life. Possessions, people, everything. Like I said, you lost everything and so did they. If not, they will like they will be going through this transformation soon. But you you are going through it already. Um, why is a death card here? Is their foundation? You are truly um, rising to a higher level. Um, fire sign singles, uh, not just like consciously, but, um, like 
your purpose in life here on earth is raising a level. The fool, there we go. There's your new beginning. You are rising to a new level. You're leaving behind the old and you are taking a leap in the um, future with this judgment card and the hangman and the alien. It's all about visions, envisioning, visionary, higher level. Look at that, ace of swords. Yes, truth. You are here for a bigger mission and you are about to create that. Wow. And it's going to bring in that ten of pentacles for you as well, but in a successful, beautiful way. The overall outcome, justice. How awesome is that card? I just love the artwork in these cards because they're absolutely, the detail in them is just absolutely amazing. So with the justice card, this is all about your, the balance, your mind versus your heart, what to do. Um, this is the principle of consequences. It's that, uh, what's that saying? You reap what you sow. Um, and it's time for you to really take your power back, to reclaim that power. Um, and in the future, you're going to honestly take an inventory of your life, acknowledging your success, acknowledging your defeats. And this is just calling you to recognize your personal opinion of justice um, within your own world. I feel like you have a lot of contradictions in your feelings and your thoughts, but this the uh, divine is here for you to rise above. Despite your contradictions, you have to rise above because every action you take tips the balance either towards love or suffering, good versus evil, right versus wrong, shadow versus light, and so on. You have to rise above, even in the own contradictions of your own feelings. Wow, this is a very deep message, fire sign singles. Why is justice here in the outcome? The eight of cups, rise above. Your heart, bottom of the deck, four of swords, your thoughts, rise above this take action. The divine is here and they need you for a higher purpose. They need you. You're here to spread this visionary or this vision that you have because you are a visionary. You know what it's like to suffer. You know what it's like to love. It's now time to rise above and take this leap of faith within yourself. Somebody is coming into your life that's going to help teach you a lesson you teach them a lesson um, I don't see it being a negative one but you guys are just complete opposites rise above the contradiction like I said complete opposites rise above the two of you are meant to come together for a soul's purpose and to build a new beginning with spirit as the Holy Trinity fire sign singles amazing amazing all right, let's do our fire sign couples. Wow, that whole reading just gave me chills. <laughs> such a higher, such a strong message. All right, fire sign couples, what do you got going on this weekend? It's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you who skipped to this portion of the video for the couples reading. All right, your guys' situation is the Empress. Look at the colors, the vibrancy of these cards. I just love them. Your energy, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The per your person, the Princess of Cups in reverse. The Foundation, the Five of Cups. And your outcome, the Nine of Swords. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy. Oh, no. Fire sign couples. What is going on? The Ten of Swords. Clarified with the Princess of Swords. Hmm. What is going on? Okay, so with your situation um, as the Empress, let me... 
let me just sit with the cards for a second so I can see what this betrayal is all about. Because I don't like that nine and ten of swords. The nine and the outcome and the ten and the shared energy. Hmm. Okay. So... This, this card is about hope, though, restoring hope. Uh, there is, there, everything is possible. You must, you must tap into yourself, though. You need to tap into the flow of the universe. It's like, it's like when you truly tap into who you are your created creativity will totally like take over like every area of your life it'll totally infuse your life every moment um is seen living with this huge creative poten potential if you live through the divine because this is the divine feminine energy um you must nurture and nourish your own body though there is some like neglect to yourself going on. You're putting everybody else first. Let's see what it's clarified with. Let me get the deck. This is like the It's like you're you're closing off due to some hurt. But this can this can work out. Everything is possible. Yeah, there could have been a third party with the Empress and the Three of Pentacles. So that's why there's this betrayal. But you guys can work through this. It's going to be a battle, a difficult one, but you can come out on top um, because there is a lot of love here. This is a divine feminine uh, energy, so you could be in the twin flame uh, journey, which we know has a lot of of heartache at times. It's not one that's easy. Let's see what the rest of your cards are saying. What's the Six of Pentacles here for? The Devil. And the Princess of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Five of Cups, the Empress and the King of Swords. So there's that Empress again in the foundation. Could be dealing with a water sign. They had the King and Queen of Swords in their reading, and um, it was a, a soul connection as well. Why is the Nine of Swords here in their outcome? The Seven of Swords. Oh, goodness. Bottom of the deck is Magician and Five of Pentacles, clarifying that Ten of Swords and... Princess of Swords. Okay. I just need to breathe for a second. Fire signs. Okay. So. Fire signs. With your energy. You have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is like the overgiving. Like almost like the enabler energy. Like you give too much. You give more than you receive. Or you receive more than you give. One or the two. Um, but you're enabling somebody who is has devil-like uh, qualities, tendencies. Um, this is addictions, uh, vices. Um, and you're enabling their, uh, their, their actions or somebody is doing this to you. Remember, this will not resonate with everybody. So if it doesn't fit, you know, don't, don't get upset. Because... For this, per, for this couple, you know of this person's vices. You know they have an overeating problem and you swing by McDonald's on your way home. Or you know they have a shopping addiction, but you, you give them another credit card. You know, things like that. An addiction does not have to be they're a heroin addict and you're, you know what I mean, you're hitting up the black market. No, it doesn't have to be that. I mean, every addiction is not good, but... 
don't jump to the worst. It could be an addiction to a cell phone. They're on the social media all the time. An addiction to, you know, attention. An addiction. There's so many addictions out there. It's just anything that is over excess. And this is you're giving more than you're receiving. And it is enabling their toxic behavior. And the person that you are coupled with, they're, they're lacking vision. Um... With the Princess of Cups in reverse, this is just not, they don't have, they're lacking vision. They're lacking motivation. They're staying stuck in a place within their own mind, heart, and soul that they don't have to be. Um, they could be oversensitive as well. But this is really, they're lacking reality. They're kind of living in a illogical world. And that could be when, because of their vices. That could be because they're overindulgence of something. <clears throat> they could be overdramatic as well. I'm hearing all those. But love can, love can, you know, conquer all. The love, the love that you have for each other, that's why, you know, there is, this is fixable. There is a way to fight this and win and be together. Um, there could have been cheating while this person was, you know, intoxicated or they're addicted to porn or, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many things, but whatever their addiction is, there was an action that happened that caused betrayal, hurt, that caused this cheating, lying, deceit, stealing. Um, so that's why something happened. Even though they love you while they were in the in their own little world, they did something that hurt you. And by you sticking around and okaying their behavior, you know, like in the twin flame journey, a lot of people put up with narcissistic abuse because they think it's all part of the journey. No, part of the journey is finding yourself and standing up for yourself and having boundaries. And if this person isn't holding up, then you walk away. That's what the twin flame journey is about. It's all about finding your own soul. And when you learn your part of your soul, when you find you, then your twin will come in, whether they come back or come into your life. Um, that's the twin flame journey. Not, not, sticking around and waiting around for this, you know, st stuff to change. You have to stand up for what you want and deserve. That's part of the journey. So I feel that was important for somebody to hear. Um, with the five of cups in your foundation, there is a lot of sadness here. There is a lot of broken promises, a lot of, um, I'll be there by eight and you don't hear from them for two weeks. Um, things like that. There's a lot of sadness here. You thought you could see the vision of the two of you together forever, but now you're just worn out. Look at that Empress. Worn out. For sure. Um, yeah, there's something here with, like with the Empress, you're wanting to like create something like you have, you can see the vision because look at the eyeball in this card. Like you have the vision of what this is meant to be. Their illusions, their vision of the unreal world, they can't see what you can see. So in your foundation, abundance is all around you. But you're going to have to connect a little bit deeper to your feminine energy to allow all your potential out. Because right now you're not getting any help from your divine masculine. Um, but it, right now it's time to free yourself. Uh, express yourself freely. It's like you're, I see you as being like a flower. You're ready to blossom. 
you have been growing ideas for a while and it's about time for those projects to come to light um, and you're about ready to step into your feminine power. However, remember to remain to be caring, nurturing, loving to those all around you, including your divine masculine. Um, because, But you can be caring, loving, and nurturing without um, enabling at the same time. So there's a fine line between that. Um, between that energy for you, which is sometimes that's a hard, fine line to draw. You know, it's a hard line to know. Um, just like people with, you know, narcissism and, and like, it's a fine line. You know what I'm saying? Um, you also had the King of Swords and this is all about, you know, you have taken the lead. You have gone to battle. You have ruled. You are a leader. Um, but you have to submit to your, to the authority and laws as well. So you don't care if people think you're not sympathetic or sweet um, because you feel that's not what you have to be. You have to carry, you have to keep this ship afloat because you feel like you're not getting any help anywhere else. So you're trying to keep your emotions under control. You're trying to remain rational, objective, um, but it's calling for you to use your intellectual power to uh, figure out this situation. Don't let your emotions like get the best of you because your emotions have to stay under control right now. Stay fair but firm. Stand up for what you need. Stand up for what you deserve um, because they're not going to give it to you unless you do. So you can't let you know your, your emotions get in the way um, and you can't tolerate childish or inconsistency or childish games. Um, and don't let them emotionally manipulate you. You have to demand that you put a clear eye on the matter. There's, you have to put a clear eye on it. You are very powerful and you hold a lot of great authority. But when it comes to this person, you feel like you're like you melt, like you'll let them do anything just to not lose them. But you have to keep a sharp mind right now. You have to be impartial and you have to use your head, not your heart to draw this boundary, to draw this line, or this person's going to keep running all over you because they know you have unconditional love for them. And they just have a very illogical view of the world right now. And I'm not saying that's your fault, but Enabling them to have that view and just be sitting there taking this treatment isn't going to um, get change out of them. This has to, um, a, a firm line has to be drawn if you want the change to happen. I am going to look up the Nine of Swords because I'm pretty, I'm new to this deck, but I'm not. Like, I don't use it very often and I can't, I don't want to mess up the outcome, the message for the outcome because... This is a very important message for you guys. Okay, it says, investigate your psychological turmoil. Question your fears and understand where it comes from. Some of you may be having nightmares and illusions. Know that you are not alone in this feeling. Some of you could be feeling controlled by fear of worry of losing somebody. Wow. It's very important, I'm getting that everyone, to understand that everyone has like fearful thoughts at, at one time or another. Fearful, um, you know, like where it disempowers them, like where it disables them. It keeps them stuck. Um, this, that happens to everybody, but this is an opportunity to clear that lineage, to clear the belief system that have been handed down through generations. Um, it's time to uh, face the shadow. Wow. Face the shadow. Because the Seven of Swords is all about running from the shadow. Running from the brightness of the moon. Um, somebody did something really bad in this card. They're trying to run away before anybody discovers um, their infamy. You know, it's like they were wishing the moon wasn't so bright. Because then it brings light 
to their running uh, brings light to what they did wrong. Somebody's trying to escape in this uh, relationship. But what is it you're running from? Whatever it is that you don't want to deal with, everybody has that feeling, but remember that It's advised to face reality instead of fleeing from, from it because it really leads to nowhere. So if somebody's being dishonest, honesty is the best policy. There's no need to be running away because, because it is going to catch up to you. You know, the, the uh, moon might be bright, but the sun is going to come up. The sun will illuminate whatever indiscretion is done. So fire sign, whether this is you and you're the one running from deceit and, you know, scandal, cheating, whatever it is, or this person is, it's, it's best. Honesty is the best policy. The shared energy is a 10 of swords. So no matter what it's being found out. Um, but at least it's the end of the cycle. This was done in the past. The past is the past, but it needs to be, um, dealt with this person that the other person knows about this more than likely because of the cards in your situation but it needs to be talked about it needs to be dealt with so it can be put away because remember this card was talking all about um, ignoring the feelings ignoring your psychological issues um, being paralyzed by the fear of this happening so it's time to bring this to a conversation so where the two of you can heal from it um, this was done in the past by whoever ghosted you or you ghosted um, could be a Virgo or a Gemini here but one of you was left in the dark in the past and they're trying to manifest this connection back together so the person that was ghosted now that this person is back there they'll let anything happen just so they stay in their life you can't that will not keep this person here and it will not bring change because you are one exhausted Divine Feminine, whether you be male or female, the Divine Feminine is exhausted. But this can be successful if you want it to be. Whew, another deep reading, Fire Signs, wow. So it's a very important message for you Fire Signs. In the Divine Masculine, Divine, divine Feminine, uh, Twin Flame Journey. If you feel your Twin Flame, stick around for this message. If not, thank you for coming and watching the video. But... I'm going to tip you up for a second because this is a very important message. The twin, whether you put up with this energy or not, um, if you fear putting, if you don't, if you don't draw your boundaries, stand, you know, stand your ground on the way that you're treated and the right and wrong behavior of your person they're gonna go anyways so you might as well stand up for yourself know your limits draw your boundaries and don't cross allow them to cross that line because if they're going anyways what's there to lose the only thing to gain is respect treated in a right way if they don't fly right tell them to fly right out the door because that's part of the journey is learning that lesson so if you're gonna if they're gonna walk away anyways, you might as well have them walking away because they can't meet your standards. Because no matter what, if you allow that behavior just to keep them in your life, they're gonna end up going, and they'll return when you have learned the lesson of your boundaries, um, standing your ground to being treated right. Um, come at me with respect and dignity and honor and love, and I'll let you back in the door as long as you're out running around with you know drinking drugging sleeping around no no thank you all i'm better off by myself that is such an important lesson um that a lot of um the twins sometimes don't realize that whether you allow that energy or not you allow it because you think it's going to keep them there but the universe has a different plan and they'll leave 
if you don't learn that lesson. So they may leave when you stand your ground. They may leave, but I guarantee they will be back um, if it is your true, true twin um, because it's going to take for some of them to walk away to realize, wow, I can't live without them. And then they will come at you right. Um, and it will happen rather quickly because we are ready for another wave of reunions. And a lot of you uh, fire signs especially are that first wave, um, like the majority. So really take that advice to heart. You should never, never um, stand for somebody to disrespect you in, um, in that way if that makes sense. I hope that helps. Um, I felt that was important to relay because it was flooding my thoughts as I was picking up your cards. So um, it's not easy because you feel like you need this person, but I promise you they will not stay with the energy that you're allowing. It's only going to um, draw out the reunion process where with them coming back without anybody else in the picture so um stand strong stand up for what you deserve you know know your worth know your value and know that you deserve somebody who respects you whether that's your twin or not um so don't settle or stand for any less so all right guys i send you all my healing love and light god bless